Hello, Cancer viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that a lot of you guys are having psychic epiphanies right now that are showing you how to finally free yourself from your ex. Um, could be someone that was toxic, narcissistic. You know, there's just been stagnant energy regarding a certain connection from your past and you're being called to release it now. I think that you felt like you released it in the past, but maybe you didn't release it quite as much as you thought. Maybe this person was still creeping up in your mind from time to time. And I feel like recently your guides have been showing you how to finally just release that energy and free yourself from good. Um, some of you might be led to do cord cutting rituals regarding this connection right now. But you also have true love here. So this this toxic connection was what was keeping a lot of you stagnant, even though you might not have been conscious of it. But I feel like now that you've released it or you're in the process of releasing it, you're making room for true love to come in. I feel like a lot of you guys might have had a certain belief regarding love that stemmed from this um, relationship with someone that was narcissistic or abusive or toxic in some way. Like maybe they marked a before and after period in your life. Like after you got with them, you kind of had this feeling that it's just some kind of negative belief that took place. Like you, you've started, you know, believing that everyone cheats or everyone is going to lie to you or everyone is um, going to hurt you in the end or just some kind of um, seed was planted from this connection and I think it was sabotage it was that energy was carrying over it was like a thought form that was carrying over and sabotaging your relationships after after that point but I think you've been I think you're recognizing it now finally you're being honest with yourself and you're clearing it up um so that you know new love is here new love can come in now it's it's you know you're clearing that space for it you're ending these patterns you're ending that way of thinking you know you're you're taking control of your life again so let's see what's going on. I'm going to start with Bibliomancy just for a minute. Just going to pull a couple messages from this book I just bought. And then I'm going to get into the Oracle card reading. To love unrequited is far from weakness. Despite the foolish whispers of the world, you are one of the strongest creations known to existence. The force that keeps our very world spinning. So, oh, sorry, you can't see that. So I think that's a message to you to forgive yourself for what you what you went through with this person as well. Um, and then we have, and if it, at the end of it all, I am only left with one belief, the belief that fate is in favor of us, that I am left with all that I will ever need. That's really interesting that I pulled this page because I was just talking about that, about changing this belief. It's like reclaiming yourself, forgiving yourself getting back in touch with that that part of you that believes in love in in vulnerability in um you know believing that you can have that kind of love it's like taking your power back from that person not letting one person change the way change your entire outlook on romantic relationships because i think a lot of you are romantic and you're very emotional deep down but i think maybe this person just changed your perspective so it's like you kind of lost yourself to a degree and it's like just be romantic because that's who you are it's not about them it's not about you know like even if 80 percent of people do cheat like it's not about them it's about you you know what i mean like be a romantic because that's who you are that's what feels right for you on a soul level that's what your soul wants that's what you know what i mean like you feel most at home inside yourself when you're when you're being that person when you're allowing that emotion in when you're allowing yourself to just be romantic to be idealistic to be free-spirited it's like it's not about them it's not about what they've done or haven't done or whatever it's it's about you it's about being true to yourself and forgiving yourself um and yeah changing that belief changing that belief um one more message that i'm going to get to the oracle reading They would have been enough for me before knowing you, before learning that there is more substance to be found in love. And now in knowing this, I would spend 90 years alone if it meant spending my very last with you. So Bibliomancy is just, it's basically just channeling via book. You could do it with pretty much any book. You just pick up the book and you intuitively choose a page. Um, all right, so let's get into the reading. Okay, and I, I, got, I got the energy of true love. I got that true love is here. Like you're, you're in, you've either just cleared this up or you're in the process of clearing up this old stagnant energy. Um, and your life is going to start moving very quickly is what I'm getting here. So let's see what's going on. Okay. 
And if this is resonating and you'd like a paid private reading, my email is right below in the description box below this video. So yeah, just send me an email. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My donation links are also below and please subscribe if it resonates with you. So we got passion, romance, happiness, warmth, light, choose a path, X the past, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, anger and miscommunication, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, stagnation, complacency. So I think some of you, I feel like your ex just, it's like they might love you in their own toxic way, but they also, their pride really, I'm getting the energy of, of them having a lot of pride and I just feel like they don't want to lose you, but it's not really about you. It's just not wanting to lose. And I feel like some of you have just like put your foot down and cut and cleared them or you've just, you've shielded yourself. You've taken, you're taking your power back. Some of them are going to, because some of them are just so narcissistic that they're going to want to test you. They're, they're going to want to test you. They're going to want to see if it's real. Are you, are you really done with them? Because they might feel the energy difference. Even if you haven't talked to them for months and months, they might still feel that energy that they don't have you anymore because you just cut those cords. You might have just asked your spirit guides to cut the cord. Like you did something like you, you, you're freeing yourself. You're taking your power back. So some of them want to test the waters. They're like, oh, really? Like, they really think they're going to move on from me now? Like, they, you know, like, maybe they've been, like, kind of a psychic vampire kind of, um, you know, pulling on your energy and whatnot without you even realizing it. Like, maybe you just get exhausted and that's, it's from them pulling on your energy. And so some of them are going to, some of them might message you out of nowhere to kind of crawl back in and, and test you and see, like, are you really done? Are you sure? Um, and, and it looks like you're going to have a, a choice to make. It looks like you have a bit of a challenge ahead because you got passion, romance, happiness, warmth, light. And we have choose the path, X the past. So, and I feel like this could, even if the X doesn't come back, I still feel like this could just be saying like the patterns. Like you have to kind of choose a path because you've been going in circles. You've been stagnant for a while now and you're at a crossroads. And it's kind of like you've been at this crossroads for a while and you've just been kind of like standing there, not like Seven of Cups energy, not knowing which way to go. And it's like time. It's, it's time to choose a path. It's you, you kind of, some of you are, going back and forth between like, I'm done with love and I want a relationship. And you're almost like confusing the, uni the universe, to be honest, like you're confusing your spirit guides because they listen to you. Like they, they listen and, I'm, and, and you're human. It's totally normal to get upset, to get frustrated. Like no one's blaming you for that. But I'm just saying like, as far as like the law of attraction and like manifestation, I feel like it kind of confuses your spirit guides. Cause remember the way that spirits communicate, they're, they're in the higher realms. So they communicate differently than we do a lot of the time. So, and you know, if, if you're sitting there and you're like, I hate, I hate men. I'm done. I don't want any more relation. Like I don't want a relationship. I'm just, I'm sick of people. I don't, I can't trust anyone. And then a week later you're like, I want to put myself out there again. They're like your spirit guides are like, what do you want? Like, do you want to be single for a bit or do you want love? Like, like figure it out. This is just for some of you, not all of you, but just for like at least a few of you, I'm getting that message. Um, and it's like they just just to commit, you know, because I feel like your energy is chaotic and it's all it's back and forth. And I feel like that's why you're that's a big part of why you're stagnant. In addition to the ex and the trauma that your ex might have caused, I feel like the other part of the reason why you're stagnant is just because you're like going back and forth between these two very different energies. And it's kind of like choose a path. Like, who do you want to be? You know? Because some of you are, are in that energy where you're like, I'm not going to love again. I'm done. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the player now. And then you're like a week later, you're like, wait, maybe I should love again. And it's like, you're just, you're not going anywhere. You're just on this merry-go-round. So it, it's kind of like get out of this crossroads energy and, and choose a path. Like, you know, like, where do you want to go? And it's like, you, you can't really just not love, to be honest, as harsh as it is. It's like, eventually you're going to meet someone and you're going to fall in love as much as it 
sucks. Like, I mean, as frustrating as it might be, it's like eventually you're going to find that person. And I am getting that true love is here. Like, when you clear this energy up, when you start taking your power back and making these choices, like, you have true love coming in. Um, please let me know, like, how does it come in for you guys? Because I was getting it a couple weeks ago. Like, have you guys met this person yet? Or are you feeling this energy? Like, have you... Are you kind of channeling, too, that you're about to meet them? I'm just curious about that. About, like, where you guys are on the storyline. But, um, yeah, anyway, so it's, like, passion. Like, and again, just be be this person because this is this for you. It's not for someone else. It's because it's this is who you are. You know what I mean? It's not about what they're doing or not doing. It's, like, this is just, it's, it's for you. It's so that you can feel at home inside yourself so that you feel connected to your soul so that you're allowing your intuition and your soul to come through if that makes sense but yeah it's time to choose a path is is basically the energy i'm getting happiness warmth light and this does lead to happiness because it's like you're allowing that like empathetic angelic nature that you have inside of you to, to shine again and that's going to make you happy just being that person being back in touch with your true self um, and then the other path is the X. So like I said, some of, for some of you, the X might be messaging you because they might feel this energy shift and they're like wondering like, what, like you think you're gonna take your power back? What? I don't think so. Like they're gonna test you. Or this is just the trauma coming up. Like your spirit guides might even be testing you and being like, okay, show us. Show us that you're committed to being your true self. Um, so you've got like, it's almost like Eight of Swords energy. Like you've been like stuck in this, like, like you feel like you're trapped, but you're not trapped. There's a way out, but you're so focused on like the swords around you this that you don't see that there's an opening right in front of you. Um, and I have overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage here, Eight of Swords energy that's either led or going to lead to anger and miscommunication. Could be like arguments with people that don't need to even happen. And that are just a result of everything going on inside you. And then stagnation, complacency. Um, I feel like the adventure honeymoon vacation is like with this new person that wants to come in or that's just come in. And it's like, you have to kind of choose though. Are you going to stay stuck in the Eight of Swords energy? Or are you going to go forward um, and, and take the sleep of faith. And for some of you are spirit guides, and I hate to give these messages because it's so frustrating because I get that we're human and we need love. But for some of them, your spirit guides want to test you and they want to make sure that you're going to be committed to your true self regardless of if you have a relationship or not. Some of them are, some of, for some of you, not all of you, but for a few of you, your spirit guides are waiting to bring this true love in because they don't want you to just be romantic and idealistic and passionate and, and caring and all these good qualities and have it be dependent on this romantic relationship. They want you to have this relationship with yourself, if that makes sense. Like they want you to reclaim your power. They want you to, to realize your own strength, your own independence, to realize, um, just to take your passion back, to take this side of yourself back to um to just to be this person that you want to be to to step out of your comfort zone to be in this free spirited nature i think part of it too is that they don't want you to sabotage this new connection coming in because if you if this person comes in and they're you know wanting to travel wanting this commitment wanting to go like you know honeymoon phase with with you all that energy um and then then you allow yourself to be this person and then you're going to get really nervous and scared because it's going to be reliant on this person. Does that make sense? Like you're going to be passionate and free spirited and, and romantic, but it's, it's all going to be because this person has come in and it's going to scare you though. It's going to, it's like, it's going to create negativity in the relationship because you're, you're going to start being kind of afraid. You're, if, does that make sense? Like you're going to start because you're being your true self again and you're going to you know, if it's, if it's like reliant on this person, it's like, you're going to get scared of losing that. You're going to, um, you know what I mean? It's like, it's going to, that, that energy is going to be connected to this person and that fear might come up and then you might end up testing this person. Like you might end up like, like testing them to see if they're cheating or like questioning them or just needing constant reassurance. And we're human. We need those things sometimes it's normal, 
But I mean, you might need it to like an extreme extent that it might just overwhelm this person and create negativity that in arguments in this connection that did not need to be there. Does that make sense? So it's like your spirit guides want you to just be this person just for you. Like even if you're by yourself, they just want you to be this person just because it's who you are. Like you are this free spirited, passionate person. They want that to just be independent of any of your outside relationships. I hope that's making sense. Let me know if you guys need clarification on that because I know sometimes when I channel, like it's kind of complicated. But, um, but yeah, I mean, basically it's like they just, they, they want you to just be that person because that's who you are. And that way when this person comes in too, it's like you're not going to be as scared because it's like you've already started being this person again, so it's not dependent on them. And then this relationship can just, you can let go of control issues and this relationship can unfold naturally. Because this is, this person that's coming in is very, um, it could be someone that drives a motorcycle or like, like, I get the sense of like someone who's like athletic or like they're into like sports or like fitness or um, like kind of like a go-getter, like the adventurous type is kind of the energy I'm getting. And they're going to love this free-spirited energy about you. But like if they meet you and you're still in the Eight of Swords energy and you're like not trusting them and you're holding on to control issues it could sabotage this so like your spirit guides have someone in mind for you but they want to make sure that you're going to do this right before they bring this in um any final messages about this and like i said if this is your story and you want a private reading my email is right below in the description box i can look more into how to free yourself from this energy um with more more details about this new person whatever you want to know really Okay, just a one final message here. Shyness, fear of rejection, beauty, mystery, enchantment. Loyalty, stability, vows. Publicity, social media. I feel like some of you might... I feel like this is, probably, this is probably only for like two of you. This isn't for most of you, but for like a couple of you, some of you are talking to someone new or you're about to be talking to someone new and you're thinking, you're going to think about, um, you're going to, you're going to consider testing them. I keep, cause I keep, I keep channeling and I'm getting this visual cause there's this lady on TikTok that does, um, like test your man uh videos where like I think she gets paid for it where it's like she'll go and try to hit on your man and like see if he gives if he'll give her his number or whatnot like they test to see if they're loyal or whatnot and um I almost feel like a couple of you are gonna like test your person on social media to see if they're loyal and you're gonna find out like if it's, if it's a new person that's come in like you're gonna find out they are loyal to you but they're gonna be done with you after that they're not gonna do the control issues like, they're not going to do the whole, like, not being able to have, like, they're, like, they're not going to cut out, like, let's say, let's say this is just, like, a straight relationship, for example. And, and you could be gay or lesbian, like, whatever, but just, it's just, like, an example. So let's say just, like, just, like, an average straight, straight relationship. You're, um, and it's, like, let's say you're the woman and you're dating a man. And the man has this, like, female best friend that he's been best friends with for, like, 10 years. And, like, they're platonic. And you come in and you're like jealous of her. He's not going to do it. He's just going to cut you out. He's going to choose her. Um, Cause that's like, that's his best friend. You know what I mean? Like he's just, he's not going to do the drama. He's not going to, and again, that's just for like a couple, that's just for a couple of you. That's not for most of you. It's just, it's a message for like, I'm, I'm getting like a specific energy here for someone that's watching. Um, just that your control issues and your fears and your insecurities from what your ex did, you don't want to carry that into this relationship. Because your guides want this relationship to be healthy. They want this to um, to unfold naturally. They want it to just happen naturally. And if you, like, test them to see if they're loyal, if you spy on their social media, if you um, get jealous or competitive or cause some kind of... They just get some kind of, like, drama or some kind of jealousy regarding social media to see if they're loyal, to see what they're about. And it's like, you're going to find out that they're loyal, but, like I said, they're going to be done after that. They're going to find out, like that you were testing them or that you did this or you went through their phone or something like that and they're just they're not going to have it because this person is incredibly free-spirited this person is like 
like they're very independent they're very free spirited they just they're a go-getter they do what they want they're very confident this is like an alpha type energy so if you show signs of like jealousy and like insecurities they're just gonna be like no no thank you like they're they're not gonna do the drama um and like i said i'm not judging you guys because i get it like if you've been hurt a lot it's hard it's it's hard to let go of that fear i understand but your spirit guides are just saying like if you want something you've never had, you have to kind of do something you've never done. You can't bring that old energy into this connection and sabotage it and test this person and try to control them and then be surprised if they say, screw this, and they move on. Like, your spirit guides are wanting to make sure that when they bring this in, that you're in this... See, because this, this couple, it's like their energy matches. Like, they're... You know what I mean? Like, they resonate with each other. And if you're in that Eight of Swords energy, you can't really have this because you're not going to resonate with that. You're going to you're gonna come off as shy or you're going to come off as guarded or controlling. And this person is just going to overlook you because they're not going to see who you really are. So it's almost like you're going to go through this process where you're going to have to be your true self first. Like you're going to have to be that person that you really want to be. That Like you're, you're going to be challenged, honestly. You're going to be really challenged, Um this year but in in good ways it's gonna lead to a lot of life changes but it's gonna be like a messy period that you're going through I feel like it's gonna be um how do I explain it it's like healing but it's like it's gonna be like like sometimes healing is chaotic it's it's messy it's painful sometimes but you're being challenged to let go of your control issues and let things unfold naturally in your life so like I think your spirit guides are gonna make are gonna push you to reclaim this adventurous, free-spirited, empathetic side of yourself and just, again, change your perspective. Like, they're going to change your perspective on it. It's like you're going to be just be this person because it's who you are. It's not going to... You're, you're going to be that person consistently. Even if someone's cheating on you, if they're not cheating, if you're single, married, whatever, like, you're just going to be that person consistently. You're going to be a romantic consistently because it's who you are. Like, that's the perspective they're kind of pushing you into right now. And... And so they need you in that energy before they bring this love in. Because if, if you're still in the Eight of Swords energy where you're still holding on to an ex or you're still kind of like in that kind of jealous, insecure energy, like this person is, is they've got a very powerful, strong energy and they're not going to resonate with you when you're in the Eight of Swords energy. They're just, like I said, they're just not going to do it. They're, they're going to feel smothered. This person needs to have their freedom. They're very independent. So they're going to feel smothered if you're in that energy and they're just going to, you know, but if you're in this energy, if you're being your true self, then they're going to resonate with that. And you guys are going to be challenging each other in really healthy ways to step out of your comfort zone. Like this is like, I see you guys like doing, um, almost like being like a, a couple that would like bungee jump together or like travel together or um like go hiking together like i see like adventures like for you guys like you guys would be doing things that like scare you you know i get that kind of energy where it's like you'd be challenging each other i almost feel like you'd be like gym buddies to gym buddies as well like you'd like challenge each other to work out because this person feels very athletic and very fit and i feel like they would challenge you to work out as well but in like a healthy supportive way not like they wouldn't like say that you weren't good enough but they would just like I don't know. You guys would just challenge each other, but it'd be really good for both of you. Like, it'd be a really healthy relationship. It would be... You guys would keep each other on your toes, you know? Um, I don't know why this... Why did this slip over? What's going on with that? I honestly don't even remember that flipping over. It just did that on its own. I don't know why. <laughs> but, um... Maybe I did it and I don't realize I remember that I did it. But, um... Let me see. Shyness, fear, rejection... It's like you're enchanting, but like they might, they need to realize it though. They need to see this side of you. This needs to be natural. This needs to unfold naturally. And like I said, don't test them. Because if you test them for, the, for whoever that's for, if you test them, you're going to find out, yes, they're loyal to you, but they're going to be done after that. They're going to know that you tested them. They're going to, it might be like you have someone message them or something to like see if they would cheat. And they're smart enough that they're going to know what you're doing. And then, like, the truth is going to come out, and they're going to be like, oh, hell no. I don't think so. Like, they're just going to be gone. Like, they're, yeah. That's the message I get. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Um, like I said, I do private readings, so email me if you want one. And um, 
yeah my email is below and please subscribe if it resonates thanks for watching